Welcome to the Growing in Love for Life podcast, where it's all about saving and strengthening your marriage and creating the relationship you really deserve and want to have. And now, from growinginloveforlife.com, relationship and marriage coach and best-selling author, your host, Liam Naden. Welcome back. It's Liam Naden here again. And in this episode, I'm going to be talking about another critical component of a great marriage. And this is another common ingredient, if you like, that I see over and over again in truly wonderful marriages, and which I see to be, without exception, missing from a relationship where the couple is having problems. So it's an aspect of marriage that I think you're going to find very useful to give a lot of thought to if you really do want to continue to develop your own marriage and turn it into a great one, or even if you want to save your marriage from divorce, if that's what you're facing. And it's simply this. To have a truly strong marriage, you and your husband or wife need to be deeply aligned. You know, to put it in the vernacular, you need to be on the same page. And to understand why this is so important, Think of it like this. Imagine that the two of you, your husband, you and your husband or your wife, are on a bike ride and you're riding side by side down a long road. So there the two of you are. You're enjoying the ride. You're enjoying the scenery and what's happening around you. You're enjoying the feeling of maybe the wind on your body and just the whole experience of the ride. And at the same time, you're sharing thoughts together and you're having a conversation with each other as you're riding along. Now this is a shared journey, isn't it? You're travelling together and you're both heading for the same destination. And although you're on separate bicycles, you know that if you stay together, you're going to reach the same place at the same time. And not only that, but you're going to have enjoyed the ride all the more because you've shared, essentially, what is the same experience together. But what would happen if the both of you set off on the same bike ride at the same time and from the same place and intended to meet up at the same destination, but you didn't take the same road. What would happen if one of you went off the track and down a different road? Of course, it would no longer be a shared journey, would it? Even if you'd started out together and agreed before you started as to where you'd both end up, there are going to be all sorts of additional issues, like problems, misunderstandings, confusions. Maybe one of you might even become lost. Or one of you might be on a road that had potholes or hills or unexpected diversions, if you like. So there's going to be no guarantee that you would both end up in the same place at the same time. And if you did, even if you did, you would have very different viewpoints on what the actual journey was like. And you also wouldn't have enjoyed the journey nearly as much. And you might have a difficult time trying to explain your journey to each other. And depending on your different circumstances or your different experiences, one or both of you might have even changed and become in some way a different sort of person. Well, you know, marriage is very much like a bike ride. It's a journey where you need to stick together if you want to stay together. And the way you do that is by ensuring that you are both on the same journey, always and at the same time. And once one of you veers off a track, then in all likelihood, it's going to create problems. And unfortunately, this is what I see, many couples forget to stay on the same road. They think they're going in the right direction, and they're both aiming for the same place, which is, of course, usually to be happy. But they they forget that the journey is actually the most important part. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that the two of you need to be together for 24 hours a day, because the journey I'm talking about is as much a mental journey as a physical one. But it does mean that you need to see things together in largely the same way and be in agreement over some very specific areas. So what are these areas? Well, firstly, the first one is your goals. Now, let me ask you, do the two of you both want the same things? Do you have shared goals? Do you support each other in your own individual goals? You know, if you haven't already, it's really important to sit down together and really talk about these things. And secondly, you need to have similar values. This is another hugely important area to talk about and to really get clear on. Are the same sorts of things important to the both of you? 
as an example, if one of you wants to spend all of your time travelling around the world and the other would rather just stay at home all the time, then you're going, you may well have conflicting values. And if you don't resolve this sort of thing, it can cause really big problems. And the third important area where you need to be closely aligned and on the same page in your marriage is in your core beliefs. Now, I'm not specifically referring to religious or spiritual beliefs here, but obviously those can be important as well. But do you have similar attitudes and opinions about things? Of course, differences of opinion are healthy in as far as they help us to think and consider other points of view and, and grow in our own un understanding. But if you and your spouse are on a different page when it comes to fundamental issues such as bringing up the children, your lifestyle, your finances, your health and your spirituality, it makes a relationship very difficult. You know, the truth is, the more aligned you are in your marriage, the faster you can move ahead and the more you can enjoy the journey of not only your marriage, but your life as well. And couples who are in a great marriage, they share common goals, they share common values and beliefs. And it means they're not only happier and with fewer problems, but they often achieve great things together. So my advice here is really, no matter where you are in your marriage, think about and talk about your goals, your values and your beliefs. And align them as much as possible. Be on the same journey, be on the same road. And when you do, you'll discover what an amazing journey life really can be. So turn your marriage into the only sort of marriage worth having, which is a great one. Thanks a lot for listening. I wish you all the best and look forward to talking with you again soon. Bye for now.